Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I plan on this being a really simple week for meals, lunches. I plan on doing intermittent fasting again this week. So I just wanted something that I could grab and go when I was ready to eat and could break my fast. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna prep up my chicken. This will be chicken that I'll be having some Alfredo broccoli chicken bowls, which you'll see the Alfredo sauce here in just a little bit. So I'm getting my air fryer tray ready. I just have some avocado oil here on some foil and I'm just taking my chicken tenders, kind of coating them with the oil just a little bit. And then I will coat those with some of this six pepper seasoning from, I can't remember the company, but I found it at um, a grocery outlet. And then I had some hot dogs left over from a dinner earlier in the week. So I wanna go ahead and cook those up. So I'm just gonna put them on the same tray here. These will go into the air fryer at 400 degrees. I will cook them for 10 minutes just so I can get the hot dogs cooked. And then I'll remove the hot dogs and cook the chicken for an additional probably five to six minutes if I need to do so. These are kind of thin chicken tenders, so I don't know that I will need to um, cook them any longer or not. I also did add some pink Himalayan salt to my chicken as well. And like I said, these will be just a nice like grab and go and make them for those um, Alfredo bowls. And also I could just have them in a salad. It's just they're ready to grab and go. While my chicken and hot dogs are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prep up some strawberries I picked up. These were so sweet, they are so good. So I went ahead and washed them in a little bit of vinegar and water, let them soak for a little bit, and now I'm just chopping them up. And I will have these just, you know, to go with some yogurt or um, on some waffles that you're gonna see me make here in a little bit. Next up, I'm going to prep one of my dinners, which is going to be stuffed meatballs. The first thing I need to do is as cube up some cheese. I have some white cheddar cheese here that I'm using. You can use any kind of cheese that you want. Mozzarella is really good in this, but I did not have any block mozzarella. I only had the shredded mozzarella. So now I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out my two different kinds of meats I'll be using for this. I'll be using a half of a pound of ground beef and then also a half of a pound of Jimmy Dean Italian sausage. You can use whatever combination of meat that you want. You can make these turkey, you can make them chicken, you can use only ground beef. I just like that extra like spice of that Italian sausage. In my opinion, I just think it really puts these meatballs to the next level. Once I have my meats all measured out, I'm gonna add in one egg. Next up will be the spices. So I have some Italian seasoning, some minced onion, some garlic powder, and some red pepper flakes. I don't ever measure this, you guys. You guys know that. But I would say it's probably about a teaspoon of each is what I put in there. And then also adding in a quarter cup of almond flour. Next thing we need to do is just mix this all up and I tried doing it with a spatula, but you guys, you guys know, I just had to go in with my hands. So you wanna go ahead and incorporate everything all together and then we are ready to stuff the meatballs. So I have my white cheddar cheese there. I have my meat mixture. Now I have my casserole dish. Now I halved the original recipe. The original recipe makes 24 meatballs. I knew I didn't want that many. So I'm just gonna try to aim for 12 meatballs so i'm just taking my scoop here is how i started out with it and then i'm just going to put a piece of that cheese in the center and just kind of wrap the meatball around the cheese and these are really good good size meatballs um, i would say that probably a serving size is about three of them when I am ready to cook this, what I will do is go ahead and cook the meatballs at 400 degrees for probably about 20, 15 to 20 minutes. They're, like I said, they're pretty big balls. And then I will make sure they're all cooked up and then I will add my marinara sauce and some cheese on top of that and put it back in for probably about 10 minutes just until that marinara sauce is nice and bubbly and the cheese is nice and bubbly as well. And then I will just have these with a side salad. So you will see those later in the week, how they turn out in my um probably my what i ate video that will go up on friday my three days of what i eat so i think that's what you will probably end up with so i went ahead and just continued to scoop out add the cheese in the center i ended up making 10 meatballs i could have made 12 but i wanted to make them a little bit larger so this is what i ended up with I'll just wrap this in plastic wrap, put it in my refrigerator, and it's ready to go on the night that I have meatballs for dinner. 
So here is what my chicken and my hot dogs, they're all done, so out of the air fryer, so they are ready to go. The chicken ended up taking 17 minutes to cook, so they both are ready to go for my lunches for the week. Now we are gonna work on making some waffles that I can have for lunches, for snacks, for dinner, whatever, but I really just wanted to try out this high key strawberry pancake and waffle mix. Now let me tell you how I got this. So there is a website that's called Keep Me Club, I believe, and I saw it on Instagram, and you can get deals like this. I got this for two dollars or is a dollar 99 on amazon because it gave me a really good discount code so i will link that um link down below there's not sales every day there's not good things every day i just look at it every day just to see if there's anything that pops up like these high key pancake mixes so yeah i got it for two dollars off of amazon so i will link that website down below so the ingredients for this was just the pancake mix the coconut oil a couple eggs. I'm doubling the recipe on the back. So it makes three per serving. And that is um, three net carbs for three of these pancakes. And then you need almond milk and eggs. And then you're just going to mix that all together. I'll be using my mini waffle maker for this. You can do it into pancakes, but I just find the waffle maker is much, much easier. And also you need some vanilla extract. So you need a quarter teaspoon per like batch. So about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, extract but I never never ever measure my vanilla you guys know that so i'm just gonna mix it all together and i'll tell you this mixture is thick i it came out nice and smooth as you can see here it's not really super thick at this point it's just really good pancake mixture but as i was starting to make them it just got thicker and thicker and i think i said the same thing when i did the pancake battle and i believe high key was one of the, my favorite ones out of that pancake battle it is it's really good pancake mix doesn't have an aftertaste or anything so as you can see here i'm having a little bit of trouble like spreading it out in my waffle maker but they turned out really well and i will show you those when they're all done cooking so next up, we are going to make the Alfredo sauce. Now, what's interesting is I did not have to change my Alfredo sauce at all. This is the same Alfredo sauce that I have made for years, even way before keto. So I didn't even think that it is actually a keto-friendly recipe. It's supposed to be a knockoff of the Olive Garden Alfredo sauce. But like I said, I've made this for years. My family has always loved it. So you just take a half of a stick of butter and then a four ounces of cream cheese and it's kind of separated out a little bit there because cream cheese does a really weird thing when you try to melt it it kind of gets all clumpy you just have to work with it a little bit so don't let it intimidate you and think you messed up see as you can see here it almost looks like it kind of like just separates a little bit you just have to work with it so i just have my my rubber mixer here and i'm just gonna whisk it all up until it's nice and incorporated and then we are going to add in some um, garlic powder or you can use minced garlic i didn't want to have to dig it out of the refrigerator to be honest so i just went ahead and used the powdered um, granulated garlic and then we are going to add in some heavy cream so you're going to want to add in for this particular measurements on this recipe you want to add in eight ounces of heavy cream and again you're just going to whisk that all together until it's nice and mixed up and meanwhile you have your settings on your stove at about um, medium maybe six i think i had mine at six on mine because i didn't mine doesn't have low medium and high so i just have it on six i did add in some pink himalayan and salt as well and then time to add in the cheese so i just have some shredded parmesan it's like a parmesan romano cheese you can use whatever kind of cheese you want cheeses i've used for this is parmesan romano i've used mozzarella um, i just feel like any of those kind of cheeses re work really well but i like the taste of the parmesan the best and i just i like to make sure it's shredded and not just the grated parmesan because the shredded may, adds a little bit more texture to this um, sauce so that's all you're going to do. You're just going to add that cheese in there and you want to add in probably about three quarters of a cup of cheese. It's a lot of cheese, but again, it adds that kind of sauciness, adds a texture to this sauce. So you just want to whisk it all up and the sauce is done. That's it. That's how easy it is. And then guys, this is the tastiest Alfredo sauce. Here are my waffles. They turned out really well. Um, they did break up a little bit really easily, which I think the other ones did as well when I did the pancake battle, but these are really tasty. I did try one and they are good. So see, you can see one of them broke and actually there's two of them that actually broke. So I did have six waffles here, but one of them really broke up and then this other one broke. 
And here is my Alfredo sauce. So I'll just store this in the refrigerator and have it with those chicken broccoli bowls, which you will see later in the week. And then I also did cook up some bacon. I just didn't have time to show you that. I cooked it up in my air fryer at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And that is it, you guys. That is my super simple, easy meal prep video. If you guys like meal prep videos, please give this video a thumbs up. And I am trying to do meal prep again every single Sunday. It's just right now with being at home, I don't really need to do it as much as I used to, but I am trying to get back into some healthy habits, which for me, meal prepping is a healthy habit. So please leave me a comment down below with what you guys are meal prepping for the week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.